Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry. I give you weekly tips and tools for organizing, prepping, and travel. Today is a prepping video. I'm going to show you another Walmart stock up haul. If you'd like to see the whole playlist, I'll put it in the iCards above. And today it is snacks and sweets. I have here my price list and I'll give you expiration dates. All of these items are things that we eat regularly. I put them straight into our long-term pantry versus our regular pantry, and we just take it straight from there. It's up in uh, the room upstairs, uh, my long-term prepper pantry, and I'm actually doing a video series of that, of how I'm organizing it. So I'll put the link to that playlist too. Uh, I still gotta finish that up, but uh, Whatever videos are up there now, that's what you can start watching. So let's start here on this side. These are mixed peanuts and, uh, I mean, honey roasted peanuts and mixed nuts. They are the great value brand or the Walmart brand. And I got two of these because my husband and I really like these. Um, and this is $4.23. Now the mixed nuts is going to be more expensive. It's $8.94. And you can see that it's a smaller container. And the expiration date for this, of course, oh, here it is. Um, it says October of 2023. And uh, the expiration for this one is October of 2023 also. Over here we have saltine crackers. So in my long-term pantry, I have already dry canned a bunch of crackers. I use them about three months, six months after, and they're still very good. So these saltine crackers, I'm going to keep in the box because um, we go through them fairly uh, quickly enough that I don't have to dry can more. And then these are oyster crackers. So. Um, we probably go through one of these every couple months. I mostly use it for chili. And if I make it once a month, you know, we, we actually don't even get through the whole bag. So uh, that's why uh, um, the two will suffice for my long-term pantry. And like I've said in my other videos, and you probably hear all the time, two is one, one is none. So try to get at least two. Because once you use one, you have one backup. And I like to get them in even numbers. Now for the other crackers, I do have some more cheese it and wheat thins and other stuff in my long-term pantry. So I just needed to get one this round of stock up hauls. There are other brands now of saltine crackers where they put them into smaller packs. Like usually it's one long pack and you probably won't go through a whole long one. So they're putting it into smaller packs. I know it's more plastic, but I found that it's less wasteful. And so again, $1.12 and it's one pound. The oyster crackers are $1.07 each. And the expiration is here, December of 2022. So once you open these, they don't last very long. So you have to really plan it out or dry can them. The Cheez-It family size is $5.28. Best by April of 23. Wheat Thins family size are $4.23 and December of 22. And then I got two family size chicken in a biscuit because I, I love these. Okay, you could already see I actually opened one already, had some last night. So chicken in a biscuit for me is a comfort food. And when I was growing up in the Midwest, my, my parents, you know, they're, we weren't poor at all. I mean, we were definitely, I would say middle class if there was middle class back then or there was. Um, and so having this easy cheese and chicken in a biscuit was my complete comfort food. And so I, I still get it. You know, I'll probably go through one every couple months um, and I love it. And I've taught my kids to love it. So, I mean, they like it. I'm the one who loves it. And so, um, my, my, mom, my parents were very frugal. And so when my mom did buy the chicken in a biscuit and the cheese in the can, which may sound gross to some of you, but for me, it was like paradise. It was just like the best week ever. And she would go grocery shopping every Saturday. I would go with her most of the time. And uh, she worked full time. And so she was a working mom 
and she knew that I loved this and she would get it for me and that's something that I'll always remember and it's definitely something I am putting in my long-term pantry and my current pantry. So chicken and a biscuit is $3.26. Both of these are um, $4.78. So it's not cheap. It's For me, it's never been cheap. It's definitely been cheaper than $4.78. Uh, this is the cheddar and then the American. And then they have, um, they have a great value brand, I believe. And I've had that also, but I definitely prefer this brand, uh, the taste of this brand. The brand is Nabisco, by the way. Okay, let's move here to the granola bars. Okay, my daughter loves the Nature Valley Crunchy Granola Bars. And I found that when we got it at Costco, um, it, it, I think it takes a year to get through them. Uh, mostly she's the one who eats it and we barely touch it. So, but it's something I want to keep in my long-term pantry for her. The expiration date is June of 23. So we have a year and these are $2.98 each. For Cliff Bars, we love Cliff Bars. And um, I have started getting the smaller packets versus the big ones that you see in the bulk, sto bulk stores because I want to have different flavors. So we always usually get the peanut butter. I do like the white chocolate macadamia. I would have loved to get two more types, um, but I wanted to keep within the budget I was uh, giving for this particular haul. And these are $6.34 for six of them. So just, that's about a dollar, what? A dollar, um, uh, five, dollar fifty, maybe a dollar fifty each, right? Um, a little bit more than that. And it's, it's, it's not on sale, it was, it's not cheap. So it is something that we get through and that we do like. For me, it is a sweet, it's also like, could be a substantial uh, snack or if you're out um, backpacking or hiking, we always bring Cliff Bars. Oh yeah, let me check the expiration. Let's see, any expiration here? I don't see it. Sorry, I don't see it. Yeah, maybe it's on the individual bars themselves. Okay, so for the Oreos, double stuff family size. This is $4.28. Um, and this is January of 23. Now, I still have Oreos from the Costco. I got, I think, probably a couple sleeves. So I found like, let me just get this, this is enough, and I'd rather use um, other things that I get at Costco to get other stuff, more more uh, staples. Okay, and then Nutty Buddy, oh my gosh, this is also a comfort food. We rarely get this, but when I get it, I have to pace myself. Um, oh, interesting, suggested retail price, $2.59. At Walmart is two fifty eight. I wonder if they did that on purpose because I saw like it's already been labeled by the company. Okay, I don't see. Oh here, August of twenty two. Oh, guess I gotta go through them. <laughs> and uh, thank you, little Debbie. Oh, little Debbie, you're here again. So let me get to you after I get to Nutter Butter. Uh, Nutter Butter is 428 uh, family size again you can tell i like peanut butter stuff okay and by the way my household has different allergies so we don't always get peanut butter stuff but luckily it's not like airborne allergies so february 23 and miss little debbie oatmeal cream pies is this not another um What's that called? Uh, comfort food. So my mom would buy this and that. She didn't really buy these once in a while, but my neighbor always had these and she knew I loved them. So she would always give me some. Uh, she was like my babysitter neighbor. That was back in uh, Virginia. Okay, here, August of 22. All right, and Miss Little Debbie is $2.58. Oh, yeah, the same. Okay, and then I always love to have chocolate bars. These are the Sam's Choice brand because they're cheaper. Everything else is over $2. These are $1.98 each, and I actually have to hide these 
in uh, my long-term pantry because once my husband finds out where the chocolate is, it's gone. It's like literally gone in like five days max, okay? Um, so I just got different flavors. Orange and almonds, 60% chocolate, dark chocolate with almonds, milk chocolate, sea salt caramel, and dark chocolate. So in your long-term pantry, you do wanna have snacks and sweets and the, the comfort food that you know, makes you happy. These are 28 items total, $101.23, 101.23. It comes out to about $3.62 average per item. So obviously uh, the nuts and maybe the Cliff Bar makes it more expensive. enjoyed this Walmart stock up haul again check out the iCards above for the playlist for the other Walmart stock up hauls let me know in the comments below what snacks or sweets you put in your long-term pantry and I will see you in the next one bye